following the recently released statement from World Bank indicating suspension of public financing to Uganda, the Energy and Mineral Development Ministry has said their activities cannot be affected by this occurrence. Hey, we have got many friends. Other people will give us their money. It's not the only one side. And of course, our parts of oil and gas and other minerals. These are done by companies. So we don't borrow money for this, except when we are only laying the infrastructure. And already we are laying the infrastructure pipeline. The financiers are the, the company, Sinook and uh, Total Energies. They are private. Mining is private. The energy and mineral sector continues to be one of the booming sectors in Uganda today. As per the Uganda Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, EITI report, from financial year 2020 to 2021, revenue received from the extraction sector amounted to 241.34 billion shillings, showing total revenue streams generated by the sector at 95.72%. On the issue of royalty distribution, the State Minister for Energy and Mineral Development, Peter Teko Lokeris, clarified on the measures used in its management and use. 70% of the royalties goes to central government, to the district's 15%, to the sub-counties 10%, and to the order of the, of the land or the community concern, 5%. So these are stipulated in the Act. As the Minister said, it is administered under the Local Government Act. So for us, we send the money and then the districts have their uh, district committees, the local committees. These committees sit and decide what that money should be used for. The director of Uganda Extractive Industries Transparency Initiative, Moses Kagwa, highlighted some of the recommendations of the second EITI report on how to improve transparency in the sector. To enhance transparency, it is recommended that the full text of the mining license be made publicly accessible. Disclose the production sharing agreements. We need to set out a short-term work plan for the publication of these agreements. We are encouraged to put in place a roadmap for the implementation of an open data platform for all stakeholders to comply with the EITA requirements on proper certification of data templates by auditors for future reports and the need to expedite the process of disclosing beneficial owners of extractive companies. Story compiled by Mary Prima Awar for Chat of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.